Hello and welcome back to another gig hopping episode, season two, post pandemic. Uh, I'm Jandor again. I know it's been a while, so we're gonna have to run through a lot of gigs, four to be specific. So first one uh, is Zilz Huminga album anniversary show. It was at Simon's Place, a new place, um, great venue air-conditioned, limited capacity, and because of that, Zilda had to play two sets. And it shows, you know, his wanting to please his fans, or at least please his supporters, because who does two sets? And I think the biggest thing there was, it didn't seem that Zild could, you know, project his voice for that long of a duration and he has the charisma but his voice isn't that powerful so when it came to the second set his voice was giving out even during the first song just the first song he, uh, his voice was giving out but he, that didn't stop him from giving his second set he just gave his all um, and it's very impressive and hats off to him for pulling that off the same thing happened with the second gig that I went to it was the Data Prism preview show. It was all the way in the south in Paranaque. First time to also go there. Uh, and it was uh, in the garage of his uh, childhood home. And you know, it was a it, it was a mix of performers, DJ sets, some some slow core bands, some in some uh, solo sets. Uh, it was fun. And also Hats off also to PK Shellboy of Fax Gang. He held it down also an extended set about an hour. And you could see that, you know, his voice was already giving out. He was gargling water in between the songs. And even though his voice is auto-tuned and heavily used effects on, you could still see him struggling, but he still powered through his whole entire set um, with the help of water and also the support of uh, the people there. So congrats to them. Uh, with the release of the album and the preview show itself. Next up was a return gig for Alterna Trip. Yes, I am part of the group. So it was fun all throughout because uh, it's been years since the last Alterna Trip gig. And all the previous Alterna Trip, Altern Trip gigs have been fundraiser gigs just to keep Red Verb alive. R.I.P. Red Verb, you'll forever have a place in a lot of people's hearts. Uh, I guess what was special about this gig was that Cinema Lumiere premiered a new lineup. Uh, they changed bases and added a keyboardist. Uh, full disclosure, my girlfriend plays there. <laughs> Currently plays there already as the keyboard. So congratulations. And you know, the, the new songs sound really great. Um, I'm excited to hear the new songs coming out so that they can remove their previous songs, their previous iteration. And also, uh, The Strange Creatures played a secret set. You know, I told John I, that they should just announce it, you know, to bring people in. But I guess he was just a bit scared because they're out of practice. They don't know if they have that kind of reach again. I get that. But I think it would have been really nice if they just announced it outright. You know, maybe brought a lot of their older fans back. Um, but I think it's exci it's exciting to see them play again. And it was one of those sets where I just I was just singing out because I haven't heard them in a really long time. Last show was uh, Malofit na show. Uh, it's a fundraising gig uh, produced by the Sleeping Boy Collective. Yes, the Sleeping Boy is finally awake after years of hibernation. It was at one two three block. The first time I've also been there. A lot of firsts for the past couple of gigs uh, in terms of the venues. And it was still great. Uh, it's still hardcore. A, a lot of you know variations on it. Grindcore, industrial, uh, prog, just straight up punk. I'm still trying to get around that because in my head it's all just hardcore. You know, it's all just screaming. But uh, I think in that gig, I was, I, I was able to figure out the nuances in terms of the playing style and all of the sub-genres, sub uh, which made for a really interesting listen. And I like the venue. I actually like the venue, the new 123 block. Uh, it's smaller, of course, but because it's open air, it didn't feel, you know, hot and sticky inside, even though there were a lot of people. It still felt, you know, cool, even 
yeah, they did have some, you know, big industrial fans in there. It's not air conditioned like the old venue, but you know, it's still good. And in the gigs, well, in this uh, video, I think it's a lot more discovering new places, new event places, especially since gigs are coming are slowly coming back again. And Moe's is still closed. Come on, Moe's. I don't know if you're watching this or anyone from Moe's is watching this, but uh, I think a lot of people are still waiting for you to open up and let gigs play again. Uh, and even for me, it's just struggling to find a new venue to, you know, watch bands, new up-and-coming bands play. For specific uh, gig reviews, um, you can go to the website. I'll leave links in the description. You can just check them out there. Uh, but I wanted to touch on you know, some things that, uh, that stood out for me uh, in this video. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.